Welcome back guys, my name's Atheon and this is going to be my first ever Call of Duty video. So I thought I would start off with doing an advanced supply drop opening and I purchased 10 advanced supply drops which Elite. give me an extra free. Elite. So the first pack that I opened I was absolutely over the moon to get the Royal X. So I love the royalty gear. We also got one of the new types of helmets which you can get in the game or new types of gear, the Echo Helmet. And a professional level weapon variant. Elite. A dual wield, but not one I would use. Here, I've got another Elite XO, which I was loving, as I do like the full Sentinel Medic look. Fortunately, I haven't completed it, but I am close to it yet. we got a couple professional level weapons there, but I do have the Insanity version of the HBR. So I will stick to that over this professional variant. Now, when I open this Advanced Supply Drop, I genuinely think this must be potentially the worst advanced supply drop anyone has ever opened. If you've had a worse one, please let me know. I'd love to see it. I hear another HBR variant, but the damage is down. I'm not a fan of that. But then we get the Kraken Elite Helmet, and we also got the KVA Radical Elite EXO. So quite a few Elite EXOs dropped. From these advanced supply drops, another one there, KVA Mercenary. But I quite like that XO as it can keep you dark to hide in a corner if that's your thing, rather than stand out with some of the quite flashier XOs we have in the game. So we got a couple normal weapons there, enlisted, and also a professional weapon again. Nothing there I think I'm going to use. I'm not a fan of the XMGs, just not a great dual wield weapon in my opinion. Atlas Ranger Pants, so those are an elite drop there. And then nothing really good. Getting a few MP11s there. Elite! Elite! They're a double elite drop. I quite liked these shin guards as I just hadn't seen them before. And the Believer XO, not XO, sorry, loadout is quite small. I do like smaller elite. loadout. And we also got the Believer Gloves there and an IMR Defender, which looks like it was handling up or down, rather, sorry. Elite. I kind of missed that one out, there. sorry, guys. And then the Tiki Helmet and the Surf Shirt. So another double Elite drop, had a few of those. And the AXR Tactical, quite like that the ranges are fun, that. And I quite like those two Elites. Not the helmet as much as the T-shirt, but I really do love the T-shirt. We got the White Out Helmet there. And again, a couple enlisted level weapons. Probably won't use them as I do have better version. And the white out helmet makes your head look huge. I really wouldn't want to get hit whilst wearing that. Another double elite drop, but unfortunately, I had the Atlas Orbital XO and the Nigerian Command. But this was a new one for me here the Atlas Believer shirt. So, we've done quite well for Elites from these drops. I didn't think I would actually get this many Elites. The only thing I'm finding is that we haven't had many Elite weapons, and that's what I was hoping to get here. Some sort of top-tier Elite weapon for us to use. If you can look through here, we have had a fair few amount of Elites, so I can't really moan, and some of the Elites have been quite new. I would have liked to get that Tombstone Cowboy helmet. I think that just looks pretty cool. Cowboy hat, rather, although it will fall under the helmet category. But I think just getting one of the elite exos in royalty, which I was after, has really made this video worth doing. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to see more advanced floor drop pack openings, then leave a like. If we get 20 likes, I will purchase some more and do another opening video. And Hopefully, I'll be making some more Call of Duty videos, so don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for watching.